Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Welcome back everyone to video number two in the new series, Microsoft Excel 2016. Guys, in the first video we talked about the cell and today we're gonna to talk about everything that can go into a cell. A cell is made to contain something. That something can be text, it can be numbers, and it can also be a formula. So that's the theme for today's show is the formula. Um, in our first video, we talked about cells and how they're laid out in a spreadsheet. But spreadsheets are meant to hold data. Uh, it's not very good without data. And data has to go inside a cell. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. In this example here, in cell B2, this cell contains a combination of both text and numbers, as you can see. It says this cell contains 32 characters. Well, because it contains letters, Excel will treat this as text. Even though there's a number in there, Excel will treat this as text, and it will automatically left justify the cell. If we come down to B4, you'll see that this cell contains only numbers, and when that happens, Excel automatically will right justify the cell. Now, let's come down to B6, and notice over here it says this cell is a formula. You're saying, well, Shane, it, it looks like a number to me. How can you tell it's a formula? Well, if you come up here to the formula bar at the top here, you can see a very interesting character at the beginning, and that is the equal sign. All formulas in Excel start with the equal sign, uh, and that's why I've put that statement right down here in this big box. All formulas begin with the equal sign. And if we press the F2 key in our formula cell, notice what happens. We go into what's called formula mode, and we can now see our equal sign. And we're saying that this cell equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when I press enter, it plugs that number in there. And because it's a number, it right justifies the cell, just like we have in B4. So you say, well, that's pretty cool. But it's really cool because with, for with a formula, you can actually add up two numbers. And that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to say this equals 34 plus 56. Press enter and we get our answer. We can also subtract. This equals 86 minus, using the, the, the dash key, 10. Press enter, there's our answer. So we were able to do simple math just by starting out with an equal sign and typing in the formula. You can also add content to a cell by making it equal to another cell. For example, here I want to make this equal to E2. All I have to do is press in equals and then type in the cell reference, E2. And notice how it turns blue. And also notice in the actual cell itself, you'll see a blue outline square around the cell that I just typed in. So when I press enter, it says zero. Well, why does it say zero? Well, it's because we're giving it a value that says equals E2. E2 is blank, so it automatically plugs in a zero. If I come up here to E2 and I type in a number, say 555, press enter, notice that this now changes to 555. Uh, we can also make this cell equal to E2, but instead of typing in the cell address, I'm just going to click on it. Notice our blue box is back. It also plugs in E2 in the actual formula. Press enter, and there we go. So I'm going to repeat that process two more times. Equals E2. So all four of these cells here equal E2, and sure enough, if I come up here and change this to say 777, and I press enter, all four of these examples change. That can come in real handy as you're building out your spreadsheet uh, to be able to, to reference the same cell in multiple locations throughout your spreadsheet. All right, finally guys, I want to talk about this right here. Make me equal to pi. If you remember in our first video, I actually came over here to cell J18 and I created a nickname for it up here in the name box and we called it pi. Well now this comes in handy uh, when we come back to our formula and we can say this equals pi, P-I-E. And watch what happens when I press enter. 
our value automatically plugs in there because now this is referencing this cell over here that we named pi. So that is a real handy feature um, as you're building out your spreadsheets. Um, you know, pi is always 3.14. Now it can be a much larger number, but we always tend to abbreviate it down to two decimals. But you can create other uh, uh, values as well using uh, the name box to represent a value. Instead of, of having to remember a long number, you can just name it, give it a nickname. That's a real quick, easy way to do. All right, guys, that's enough for this video. In our next video, we're going to do some homework. We're going to add up some actual numbers uh, in other cells. And thus, this will all start making much more sense here very soon, I promise you. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. La, la, la.